Okay, so now to the savory. I'm going to grease my parchment paper up just a little bit. I'm going to get some flour on the table. Grab my dough, it's risen pretty much another hour almost while we're making elephant ears. So it's already almost doubled again, which is great. So first things first is a tweeze. First thing first is a cheese twist. We're gonna do a bacon and cheese with Parmesan, some garlic salt. And these things are fairly simple. You don't need to roll them out. You just make a nice rectangle, round, super simple, super easy. Both sides. Just like that. And then you'll grade your butter. Kind of on to it. Like that. Take some powdered parm. And there like that. A little bit of salt. Okay. And you take your cheese. And you layer it through. Your bacon. Like that. These are such a favorite in this house. Well, who wouldn't like cheese, bacon, and dough? And then what I like to do is I like to close, twist one end, and bring it around, kind of like that. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing, but the opposite way. <laughs> Kids are in the back. I'll do the same thing, but the opposite way, and like that. And then it lines up in the middle. As you can see, like that. And your extra pieces. Then you take your powdered farm, top it again, and onto your parchment. So, same procedure, a little farm, a little seasoning, okay, your butter, your ham, this is a Capicoli ham, but it's not super spicy, the kids, the kids really enjoy it. So, I'm going to fold, bring it underneath, this one opposite way, fold, bring it underneath, and then it's twisted in the middle. Beautiful. And we're going to get the rest of the dough out that's here. We're just going to fold it. We're going to try and make it a more of a square this time. I'm going to roll it out. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna get our butter. Let's throw some parm on. A little seasoning. You're just gonna grade your butter all the way around so it pretty much touches everything. The butter's gonna help crispen up the, the dough as it cooks. And make it taste well, buttery and beautiful. Kind of like that. One layer of cheese. We're going to do our meat, so our capicoli ham. We're just going to try and spread it evenly around best you can. Your onions, these are uh, shallots. I like them, they're a little sweeter. Stronger flavor. Red chilies. And you take basil leaves. Sprinkle them around. Look, it looks like a beautiful pizza. So we're gonna roll it up. Perfect. And disperse the rest of the cheese. Parmesan. You're gonna to wanna to push it into the dough, kind of like you're making focaccia, you know, putting herbs and stuff on top. 
Okay, and then you're just gonna roll her up like you would when you're making cinnamon buns, or if you had made cinnamon buns, just roll her up. Just beautiful. Perfect. And we got our greased parchment. A little parm, it's gonna make it nice and crispy on top. <coughs> Push your end in so you can make a proper one. And I would say about one and a half, two inches per roll. And you're gonna lay them in and push them down. Just like that. Okay guys, I got them all cut, panned up, ready to go. We are going to get them in the oven in a second here. My twisty breads are in there and they're just about finished. The kids are excited to eat their twisty bread and then they're getting ready for bed. Okay, twisty breads are done. This is the bacon one. I'm just gonna cut into them, show you. Bread is flaky, not doughy, all done inside. Cheese and ham, everything's melted. Mm. And I'm gonna have to try it. Oh, really good. Mm. Savory rolls are out of the oven. Uh, I'm gonna cut one out open. Uh, they look amazing. You got your capcoli, your mozzarella, your cheeses, your butter, and Parmesan. Okay, cut through them. You can see right in the middle, they're fluffy, they're cooked, they're done. They look awesome. Taste test time. Here we go. Oh, they look so good. Mm, so fluffy. So good. Wow. So it's been a few days since uh, we've done any videos. We had Canada today. We had seen some fireworks. We had some issues with the house, some plumbing. <laughs> Fixed all that. So I thought it was time to come on and do some, some bread recipes, some dough recipes. I haven't done them yet on my channel. Uh, but this is my first one. It's my favorite one. And I'll continue to come up with other ones uh, that I've done in the past and show you guys. Thank you for joining with me on Family Cooking Life. Please like, please, please like, please subscribe to these videos. If anybody has any questions, let me know and I can get you through this recipe in minutes. Okay, so send me a message, comment, email, doesn't matter. Thanks for joining me and have a wonderful night.